So Terence Crawford was asked in a recent interview whether he thinks he could beat a prime Floyd Mayweather. And of course, Terence Crawford said yes. And this has sparked some debate. Well, first of all, that's what he's supposed to say. He's an unbeaten fighter. He's a multi-weight world champion. And he's going into this big undisputed unification against Errol Spence. So he's supposed to back himself to beat anybody in history. Okay, that's the first thing. And in fact, I bet you if they asked Mayweather for his comments about what Terence Crawford said, that's what Mayweather would say. He'd say, well, he's supposed to say that. He's supposed to believe in himself and think he could beat anyone. But there's a difference between saying you think you can beat Mayweather, which is what Terence Crawford said, and saying that historically you should be judged as a greater fighter than Mayweather. Because that claim would have to be based on resume. And Terence Crawford just doesn't have a resume that stacks up to Mayweather's. Whether you think he could beat a prime Mayweather or not is not relevant to that particular point. When you have a resume like Mayweather, where he's beaten the likes of Canelo, Marquez, Castillo, Corrales, Manny Pacquiao, Shea Mosley, De La Hoya, and so on, it's hard to say that someone like Terence Crawford, whose best win is what? Yuriokis Gamboa? I mean, Kel Brook, Amir Khan, when they were past it, I'm not dissing Terence Crawford here. I think he's a fantastic fighter. Sean Porter, fantastic fighter, but he doesn't have the kind of names on his resume that Mayweather does. You know, did I mention Canelo on Mayweather's resume? Yeah, Terence Crawford doesn't have that. And at the age of, what is he, 35 now? It's unlikely that he's going to be able to put together that type of star-studded uh, lineup in terms of wins. And it's not entirely his fault because there were just a lot more stars around in the Mayweather era. There were a lot more popular fighters. You know, I mentioned some of them just now. These guys had big fan bases. Whereas in Terence Crawford's era, who is there? There is no Manny Pacquiao figure. There is no Marquez type figure. Yeah, Canelo's still around, but he's moved way up in the weights. So it, I guess Terence Crawford, to some extent, is a victim of a relatively weak era. Uh, but you can look at that two different ways. You can say he's a victim of it because he hasn't been able to prove himself against Hall of Fame fighters, but other people might say that no, he's actually benefited from it because if he had been in that kind of era, maybe he wouldn't still be unbeaten. That's the argument. So that's my take on it. I got no issue at all with Terence Crawford saying that he thinks he would have beaten Floyd Mayweather. He's supposed to say that. Would he actually have beaten Mayweather? It all comes down to our opinions. I think it would have been a very interesting fight. Mayweather, I think, is more athletic than Terence Crawford, sharper. But Crawford is more fluid. And it's not that Mayweather isn't fluid. Mayweather was a very fluid fighter. But I think Crawford's even more fluid than Mayweather. Could switch hit, can give you different looks. I think there's a bit more, you know, there's a few more wrinkles to Terence Crawford's game overall than there is to Mayweather's game. And I'm not trying to undersell Mayweather's game here. But for example, whenever Mayweather was forced to walk down an opponent, he would always do it in the same way. And it would be quite basic. He'd put his hands up right? Put the earmuffs on, high guard, and he would walk forward and throw straight right hands. Wouldn't jab much, would just walk forward behind a high guard throwing straight right hands. And that's the way he fights now, when he does these exhibitions, for the most part. Like when he fought Logan Paul, for example, when he fought Conor McGregor a few years ago. That's all he does, just walk forward behind a high guard, throw straight right hands. But even in his prime, when he came up against fighters who were giving him trouble at long range, that's what he would resort to. Okay, walking forward behind a high guard and straight right hands. And obviously, he still had great timing. His guard was good. His body positioning was good. So it's a bit more complicated than the way I'm describing it. But it's not that complicated. Terence Crawford is more advanced than that. I'm going to say it on the front foot. He's more advanced than that. May not be as sharp as Mayweather. May not be... Mayweather was very good defensively. Crawford's good defensively. But not as athletic as Mayweather. Yeah? There are certain things Mayweather definitely had over Crawford, but there are things that Crawford has over Mayweather. And I think he's just, he's got more wrinkles to his game. He's a bit more complex in what he does. So that's my take on Terence Crawford's claim. Give me your take in the comment section below.